fascinating details about Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, who was born and raised in Madeira, is the most well-known individual to have ever come out of Portugal. He also has the highest Instagram followers, with 446 million. He is often regarded as the top player in the world. These 17 intriguing details about CR7 will help you get to know it better. 1. Cristiano Ronaldo grew up working class. Cristiano Ronaldo did not come from money. He was born in the Sa Pedro parish of Funchal and is the fourth and youngest child of an impoverished Portuguese family. His mother was a cook and his dad was a gardener who struggled with alcoholism and died in 2005 from liver failure. In her book Mother Courage, Ronaldo's mother Dolores Aveiro details how she considered terminating her pregnancy with Ronaldo due to poverty and her husband's issues with alcohol. 2. You can study the sociology of Cristiano Ronaldo at the University of British Columbia O'Canagan. In 2015, BC O'Canagan Associate Professor Luis L. M. Aguiar made the media by announcing his sociology fourth-year course about Cristiano Ronaldo. The professor believed Ronaldo's social and cultural appeal transcends football, making him an interesting study. He told UBC News, I'm interested in how Ronaldo has been used to construct several discourses about who he is, what makes him distinct as a footballer, what is his relationship to Portugal, Madeira, and his Portuguese identity. The course addresses issues of identity, nationality, and representation, and discusses the phenomenon of Ronaldo across the Portuguese diaspora. 3. Ronaldo is a billionaire. Not only is Cristiano Ronaldo the richest soccer player in the world, but he is also the first soccer player billionaire. According to Forbes, in 2020 he actually became the first active team sport athlete to surpass $1 billion in career earnings. He definitely does not live the impoverished life he once did. He owns at least eight homes and is building a retirement mansion, having a property empire of over $54 million. From a limited edition $10.7 million dollar Bugatti Santa Diasi and a large collection of luxury cars, Ronaldo lives the life of the 1%. 4. He reached 32.51 km per hour in a match against West Ham in 2021. In September of 2021, Ronaldo clocked 32.51 km per hour to become the fastest football player to do so in any match, in a game against West Ham. He beat the likes of his Manchester United teammate Aaron Wan-Bissaka and West Ham United forward Jared Bowen. 5. When Ronaldo jumps, he generates five times the power of a cheetah. When Ronaldo jumps in a match, he generates five times the power of a cheetah in full flight, allowing him to reach 44 centimeters in the air from a standing start and 78 centimeters with a run-up. This is 7 centimeters more than the average NBA player. 6. The CR7 Museum in Funchal celebrates his life. Founded in 2013, the CR7 Museum is located in his birthplace in Funchal, Madeira, and celebrates the soccer player's career and life. At the museum, you will find photos from Cristiano's childhood up until now, as well as the trophies and medals he won and even soccer balls from matches he played. Above the museum stands a four-star hotel built in partnership between Ronaldo and Pestana Group called the Pestana CR7 Funchal. 7. He has vowed to never get tattoos. Cristiano Ronaldo has zero tattoos, not even a tiny one. He regularly donates blood and does not want to have to wait months after a tattoo to be able to donate. He is also registered as a bone marrow donor. 8. Cristiano Ronaldo was arrested in 2005 on charges of rape. In 2005, Ronaldo was arrested over the alleged rape of two women at a London hotel. He denied the allegations and the case was dropped by Scotland Yard due to insufficient evidence. He was then accused of allegedly raping a woman in 2009 in Las Vegas, but Ronaldo claimed they had consensual sex. The story only came out in 2017 when the German newspaper Der Spiegel revealed a non-disclosure agreement dating from January 2010 was signed with a payment of $375,000 providing the alleged victim did not go public with the allegation. As no criminal case ever came to a conclusion, Ronaldo has never been found either guilty or acquitted of any rape allegations. 9. He won a libel payout against the Daily Telegraph in 2010. In 2008, the Daily Telegraph claimed that Cristiano Ronaldo put an injured ankle at risk by partying in a Hollywood nightclub. The article said he put down his crutches to dance with models, causing offense and embarrassment. 
In a libel court case against the paper, the Daily Telegraph said the allegations were false and offered Ronaldo a libel payout that he accepted in 2010. In 2008, he also accepted undisclosed damages from The Sun, which claimed he had been fined for breaking Manchester United's club rules when using a phone during training. He ended up donating the damages to a charity in Madeira. 10. Cristiano Ronaldo's legs were insured for over 100 million euros. In 2009, Real Madrid announced that the team had insured Cristiano Ronaldo's legal for around 100 million euros. This is not the most expensive body part insurance in soccer, as Lionel Messi's left foot is insured at 750 million euros. 11. He has a lifetime endorsement deal with Nike. As of 2016, Ronaldo has had a lifetime endorsement deal with Nike worth $1 billion. He is the third lifetime deal after LeBron James and Michael Jordan. This might seem expensive, but Forbes reported that in 2016, Ronaldo's social media presence generated $474 million in value for Nike by a 329 posts. This was when he had 240 million followers across platforms and today, he has 395 million on Instagram alone, making him the most followed person on the platform. 12. He met his partner Georgina Rodriguez when she was working at Gucci in 2016. Cristiano met Georgina at the Gucci store in Madrid where she was working as a shop assistant. Georgina was 22 years old and Ronaldo was 31 years old. The couple has been together for six years and a large family with five children, Cristiano Jr., 11 years old, the twins Eva and Mateo, four years old, Alana Martina, four years old, and now a baby boy. The baby boy was a twin to a baby girl who tragically passed away at birth in April of 2022. In the end there is no question that Ronaldo is the superstar of this period. Every era has its own superstar. However, others may contend that Lionel Messi is the best footballer to have ever lived. The two have been at odds for a very long time, and while each person's opinion of who is the better player may be subjective, it is simple to interpret the numbers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for more videos.